Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Destiny 2 video. It is Zer Day, Friday for March 22nd, 2024 and Zer is back in Nessus. And let's do this. Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Zer can show up in one of three different locations. You show up in the EDZ at the tower or on Nessus. This week, he decided to show up and watch his grace. So spawn on over here. Let's check it out and see what he has for us today. As always, we have returning the illustrious, luminous, exotic, and grand, grand, grand. And we have one random roll for the Hawk Moon. This week, we have some pretty cool rolls. Arrowhead Break, Alloy Magazine, Opening Shot, and Texture Grip. Making this pretty good roll for PvE and for PvP. Our weapon of the week is the Prometheus Lens. Comes with Prismatic Inferno as its intrinsic perk. And flame or refractor as his other main trait. And it's pretty good in PvE and in PvP. The Chanel's Val is here. Exotic Gauntlets for the Hunter class. Come with the intrinsic perk called New Tricks, which is going to improve your skip grenade. You're going to get two of those bad boys. Excellent in PvE and in PvP. Stronghold Gauntlets, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the first time he's here or it's the second time. It's rarely here if it is. And it is the Clinch Fist. Exotic Gauntlets for that Titan class. And it's pretty good in PvE and just decent in PvP. All for the swords. Prometheus Spur is here as well. It's going to be exotic leg gauntlets. <laughs> exotic leg gauntlets. Exotic leg armor for the Warlock class. Come with the intrinsic perk called Embers of Light. When Daybreak is active, defeating target creates a healing and empowering of Rift and solo weapons and final blow grant Rift energy. And when standing in the Rift, when your energy is full, final blows consume class energy. It's awesome. Excellent in PvE and it's pretty good in PvP. Alright, for our legendary weapons, we have the Royal Chase Scout Rifle. 180 RPM reload on this bad boy and it has some pretty decent traits leaning more towards the PvE side of things. Still should be decent in PvP. Next up, we have a Vel Peculiar Hand Cannon. Precision Frame 180 on this bad boy with the handling master work with Outlaw. We have Steady Hands and Harmony, making this more of a hybrid role, leaning more toward the PvE side of things. Should be decent in PvP. Legal Action 2, pretty much the same thing. Range master work, all of this leaning towards the PvE side of things with Heating Up and Rampage. Still decent in PvP. And we also have the Without Remorse Shotgun. Now, shotguns are always in a good spot. 65 RPM, I'm gonna take two shots to get a Guardian down with this one right there though, right? So it's still gonna be decent in PVE and decent in PVE. And the class of Least Resistant Trace Rifle is here. And guess what, it's the same thing. Handling Masterwork, decent stats on here, like tap the trigger, still leaning more towards the PVE side of thing, and just a decent in PVP. And last but not least, we have the Threaded Nita Linium Fusion Rifle, and this one will come with a Reload Masterwork, leaning towards the PvE side of things, but this one has Killing Wind on it and Demolitionist, so a little bit of a hybrid type of roll on there as well. And the Memory in Terdeek is here as well, and it's just a horrible roll. Out of all of the weapons, this one I wouldn't even recommend for PvE or for PvE. Now, let's move along to our law specific set. You can't get this set anymore because the planet is gone. So if you're a new light player, this is your opportunity to get the Pacific set. If you want to look like an astronaut, this is your chance to get your transmog on. The helmets look good. Everything else is kind of meh. And it pretty much goes for the same thing for our other guardians as well. But for the Titan class, the law specific set looks kind of good. I'm just saying. The only thing that doesn't look great is the, the, the mark, but the helmet, the chest piece, the legs, the arm, all of those look pretty freaking fantastic. No no BS. So they did a good job with that. Moving on to our hunter, it's it's decent, you know? The lost specific chest, it's okay. The zipper is killing me right there. Uh, the lost specific cape could be so much better, but the helmet is actually really good. You know, and the leg pieces are decent as well. So boom, there you have it. Some pretty rare stuff that Zer brought for us and also a little bit of trash, but you know, that's the nature of Zer these weeks. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. And don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Game below a wide variety of videos. So once again, thanks for watching. Happy Friday. Hope you and yours have a wonderful weekend. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Go Warlocks. Let's go.